Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 91 of Project Gotham Racing 2. And we're starting off with the final section of the game that I'm actually going to run through. As you can tell, we have our 60 silver medals in arcade mode and our 172 silver medals in Kudos World Series, which are both completely done. And we have Time Attack to do. So Time Attack is interesting because you have the Circuit Challenge and the Car Challenge. Uh, the Car Challenge, as you can see here, is based off of cars. And if you hit one, you will basically just put you on a track and you have to get a, a time in it. It's nothing really. Um, it'll give me a check mark if I were to complete them, but I'm not going to do the car challenge because I'm not going to have all the cars unlocked, even though I do have a lot of them unlocked. But uh, we're going to be doing the circuit challenge because it's actually super easy peasy uh, because basically all I have to do is just go uh, on each track for one lap and it will give me my so desired check mark. And we're also going to do Long Beach and Paris because those are DLC tracks, which are pretty, pretty neat. So I'm basically just going to go up the, the list. We're going to be using cars, trying to use cars I've not used yet, um, including the DLC cars, which will be cool. Uh, I can use all those during the last few episodes because, of course, like I said, it's going to be the DLC tracks. So we'll, uh, we'll just... Uh, Fuck it, let's, let's unlock, how many kudos to I have 71 kudos tokens, it's not bad. Uh, we're just going to start using cars I haven't used, so the Ferrari F50 is the first on the dock, because it's the first one I saw, and we'll go ahead and use it. So it should be pretty fun, uh, you're going to be able to see every single layout of every single track in the game, which is pretty cool. And you may be thinking, oh, the Nürburgring one's going to be long, because there's a bunch of short tracks in Nürburgring, but it's not going to be, because... Uh, all the short tracks don't show up in arcade mode, or they don't show up outside of the career mode at all, so it's literally just the, the entire Nürburgring that you race on, and that is the only track in the Nürburgring. These episodes are probably going to get a little long, maybe, uh, depending on how long it takes me to go on each track, but yeah, there'll be some of this nice kind of like cruise through at the end of the game here. We're not going to get any more kudos tokens or kudos oh geez as you can tell there is no kudos counter on the top right those kudos can only be earned in the like the events that you actually do in the arcade mode and kudos world series you can't just like go out to a random track and do a race and then get kudos that's not how it works in this game sadly <clears throat> but there we go there's the first one done so we'll go ahead and quit New lap record. And I forgot. There's no fucking replays on this stuff. I've used the F40. I've used the Challenge Stradale. I've used the 911. Have I used the 996 GT3? Um, Grand Touring. Not used the Barchetta, so we'll use that real quick. Let's do it in yellow. Actually, you know what? Let's do it in blue. Because I saw one of these in this color, and I parked my TC by Maserati next to it at one point a couple years back. So that was pretty cool. The picture's on my Instagram somewhere if you want to find it. It's way, not way back there, but pretty far back on the, uh, the old picture front. The old Instagram. Instafam. So I don't know how exactly I'm going to get a... Uh, thumbnails for this I might just end up fucking like getting a quick picture of like the back of the car <laughs> while I'm racing and just use that I don't know it's gonna be interesting though I'm gonna figure it out I'll figure something out and also you can't change the uh, the weather conditions in time attacks you are always stuck with daytime and sunny no rain no nighttime ow I just, I did not knock the front license plate off. I thought I did. This car is definitely not as fast as the uh, F50, for sure. Might go back down to some uh, slower cars after this. Because I did unlock everything from like Sport Compact and Sports Convertible and all those, up to a certain point. We'll see though. 
to cross the line. And quit. Grass Market East. Next. Grass Market West. Um, let's go. Sport Utility. I've... Have I used... I have not used the BMW yet, have I? I don't believe so. We're going to use the X5, because why not? Squeaky chair. Ugh. Let's go, Bimmer. Yeah, I've not used this car yet. Haha. -ha. I'm sometimes knowledgeable about what I'm doing. I think that this is actually the track that you that is in uh, Horizon 4. I'm pretty sure this is the exact layout of the one that's in uh, Horizon 4. Maybe. Who knows? I don't. I haven't played Horizon 4 enough to notice. I'll play more eventually. But uh, eventually is not right now, sadly. too early this is an interesting like version of the x5 that i don't think the us ever got i'm pretty sure we got the 4.8 v8 version but i don't know about that specific like body kit or anything i don't know uh coupe uh the audi s4 is totally a coupe yes ah yes the audi s4 coupe Alright, I was right, I have not driven this car. Haha! -ha. Thought I remembered that right. This is a track I was just on with the uh, GT40. Actually. Those itches. I mean, there's kind of an S4 coupe. There's an S4 convertible, which is a two-door. I mean, it's got a convertible top on it, but it's a two-door. <laughs> that sounds like whenever my dad's out in the garage that's right behind me, and he always has the radio on, and it, it's not, like, super loud, but somehow I guess it goes through, like, the door, because I don't think it goes through the concrete. Um, but I can hear it, and I'm like, son of a bitch, that's really loud. My dad luckily doesn't do stuff very loud, which is always nice. Quit. Yes. Speed run. 107. Speed run. Uh, I used the Z4, didn't I? I don't think I used the S2000 at all. If so, oh well. That's the way I'm looking at it, is I don't give a shit. Alright, I'm tired of seeing these, and they're gonna be- Oh, I have to use this car, shit. Uh, they're just gonna be the same, like, after almost every time I do a race. So, and you've seen all of them, if you've seen all 90 parts up till now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start skip skipping past those, because I'm tired of seeing them. Ah, Jesus. Oh, jeez. I apologize if you wanted to keep seeing them, but they just take too long. I'm so close to the end, I can taste it. Speaking of my dad, he should be home sometime soon. Possibly. I was supposed to meet him an hour away for lunch, but we didn't actually do that because the place was closed. Uh, but that was also like two hours ago, so I don't know where the fuck he is. S2000 kind of fast though, not gonna lie. 
Until I crashed into all. I just remembered using this car, actually. I don't remember when I used this car. I think I used it for a race in the uh, street race arcade shenanigans. Something like that. Ass track, not gonna lie. <clears throat> I like this got a little crossover on it though. Cross the line. <laughs> I do that too. I like open the tab and then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna look this thing up. And then I completely fucking forget about it. And uh, I just end up completely forgetting about the fact that I was gonna look something up. I'm gonna use a Focus RS. And I don't remember later on what I was going to look up, so I'm just kind of stuck. Alright. Lego. I have not even used this car yet, surprisingly. I do love this car, though. This was where my love for this car actually came from. And then they added this to Horizon 3, I think. Or Forza 6 or 5 or something. And I was like, hot diggity damn. Actually, I actually think they added it to Horizon 2, now I think about it. Uh, I was like, hot damn, I'll fucking, yes. First gen Focus RS. My favorite Focus overall, by a long shot. Ow. God, imagine being a front wheel drive, though. <clears throat> so much front wheel spin. That's just a focus thing, though. I remember watching the, uh, back years and years ago, I remember watching a video of a Ford Focus, I think it was an SVT, like an 03 SVT, doing uh, autocross. And you could just see the rear wheels lift up every time they took a turn on it. The inside rear wheel would always lift. Um, I used all these cars. Shit. I've used all those cars. Shit. Uh, 911 2.7 RS. You have been chosen. Ooh, green. Yes. Give me green. Give me green. I mean, it's not like the whole car is green, but at least the wheels are green. Let's go. I do love this car. I drove a, uh, a replica of one of these a while back, and it was it was pretty cool. I made actually a really, like, I spent the most time that I'd ever spent on making a video for a car at my work and on that car. I spent literal, like, two days filming for this video. So it was pretty fucking neat, I'm not gonna lie. Because it had the right engine, even. Surprisingly, it had the engine of a 2.7 RS. It wasn't originally a 2.7 RS, but it's damn well close enough. And it was actually pretty quick too. The handling or the uh, the suspension felt real good on it. It was a neat car. If I would have had stupid amounts of money, I probably would have bought it. Heard something, I think. Somebody's gonna walk in this door behind me sometime soon, I think. <clears throat> Three tracks left to go. Uh. Uh. Ooh, we can use the car one. This car was a car that I uh, I received for completing the game on silver. Actually, it's from bronze, I think. Yeah. Because the 250 GTO was for sil or for steel. This car is for bronze, and then the uh, 911 GT1 was for silver. 
This car is actually pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. It's not fast in a straight line. It's like it is the slowest in a straight line out of any of the cars in the supercar series. But it has such good acceleration and it has really good handling, too. And it's also very strange looking. It has no mirrors on the outside, I just noticed. And it has some strange brake lights and strange exhaust pipes. It's fucking fast, though. That's all that matters. And fun fact, if you drive this car at night and you crash it, the fog lights won't burn out. They won't break. Which I find always found strange as a kid. Because they would work, break on every other car, but not this car. So you'd just be driving around with a completely damaged car with working fog lights. Slippy slidey. Delfino Feroce. And we're done. Haha, -ha, I've used the car. Alright, I'm gonna use the other car that one that I just talked about, the classic. Ferrari 250 GTO. And yellow, because yellow is a Ferrari color. Yellow is the Ferrari color, honestly. And you can't tell me otherwise. Change my mind. Yes, I've seen that intro video so many times. It's funny, now I've used this and the 275 GTB. Uh, excuse me. Twitter notification. What the hell? Who dare mention me on Twitter, or like my tweet, or retweet my tweet, or follow me? It could be any of those things, and I don't know which, because my phone doesn't tell me. But that's a good thing, because then people can't fucking yoink my information for my stuff, unless I look at my phone first. Get fucked, nerds. butt hurt. This chair has not been known for giving me butt pains anytime before. I don't know why it's doing it now. Apparently I'm just slowly leaning back as it's going eh, 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 eh. I don't know why this license plate looks huge on this car. Maybe this car is just small. I think that might be it. At least not very wide. It's pretty long though. It's got a long ass nose. I mean, there's nothing really winning in that. And one final race to go. And sure, let's use the the ultimate car that I, I received for completing the game. 911 GT1. Cool ass car. Not gonna lie. Yes, I've seen that many times. Big fast as well. This car is so fucking fast. I like a tiny bit of the turn signals light up with the brake lights. Very nice. Oh god. No slippies, please. Ah. This car is too much fast. Yes, I know, right? GT1 cars are absolutely best road cars. This is CLK GTR. The other 911 GT1, the newer one that had the 996 headlights. And we're done. And there we go. That will complete the first uh, fucking arcade time attack thing. So thank you all so much for watching this episode. And I will see you in the next one where we take on Moscow.